man. A momentary break from the rain. <laughs> it's been raining non-stop for the last couple of days. But it's currently stopped raining. So now's the time to make a quick video. Well, good day. Thanks to everyone that joined me on my recent live stream. It was a lot of fun. In that I also covered a few things like more details about the loss of poor little Teddy the Vlogging Cat. So check that out after this video. I said that I would make probably an interim video because I'd planned to go for a road trip, which I'm going to take you guys on. But unfortunately, for at least six months now, <laughs> one thing's delayed after another. And in this case, uh, my friend I'm visiting, which is three hours away from here, uh, his family's come down a little bit sick, so that's a bit of a risk for me to go. Plus the rain that keeps coming and going all week is not supposed to stop till the weekend, which means out where I am going, there's two bridges I have to drive across and they may well be flooded and closed. So even if I made it there, I may not be able to come back for goodness knows how long. So that's not good. So it will happen, just not sure when. So I said that I would probably make an interim video and what I'm going to do is just bring you up to speed about my gallbladder operation back in January this year. And I did an update a few months after that because I had to go back into hospital. I'll link all those videos in the description area below as well as a couple on the end screen. Now it's, it's probably eight months since then. My wrap up about what it's like for me to have my gallbladder removed and how I feel about it. Now every single person on the planet, I've said this before in other medically related videos, will be different and everyone reacts differently so there's no hard and fast guarantee that this will apply to anyone else. But for me I can say it's one of the best things that's ever happened to me in hindsight despite all the inconvenience of having to go to hospital in an emergency and then two months later after I thought was everything was okay go back again because there was a gallstone stuck way down below that they somehow missed in the operation so from my perspective I wanted to bring a few things to light I consider myself very fortunate in the outcome of this no longer having a gallbladder and only in my case because you may experience something different if you have a gallbladder removed. So it's the best thing that's ever happened to me in that respect because ever since I've been a young adult, on average once or twice a year at least, I would get this horrendous pain. And I covered more of this in the original video which you can check out in the description and the, the links at the end. But it turned out that must have been gallstones. Now I did do the Holder Clark uh, liver detox that I've made a comprehensive video about. I've done that a few times. There'll be a link to that in the description as well. Do my best. No, dropping it. Doesn't look that watery. As they say, around the stomach, around the gums, look out guts, here it comes. God help me. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And kind of tastes um pretty yuck. But um passable. I'll think about what it tastes like before I speak to you again. And that may well have staved off the whole process. Anyway, why I say this is the best thing I've ever that's ever happened, in regard to medical anyway, I think, is that I no longer get those pains. And believe me, I can't describe the pain it was, and, and this has been going on for many, many years now, on and off. It's a horrendous pain and you just simply think, you know, I think I'd rather be dead than have to endure this because there was really no effective relief. You'd spend all night up and uh, in pain. Horrible, horrible thing. But I consider myself very fortunate because 
I'm able to eat and drink anything that I want, no side effects whatsoever. I know a lot of people have commented occasionally that, oh, what about the spicy foods or whatever? And now there's a plane going over. Welcome back to Studio A, by the way. It's good to be back after a bit of a break because I simply just haven't felt like filming anything after the loss of Teddy. It was a very sad loss. So anyway, yes, I can eat and drink anything I like, spicy foods, you name it. They do not affect me. People keep commenting, or certain people keep commenting, well, you can't have that, it's spicy or it's whatever. No, I can have whatever I want. I don't get any ill effects at all. I don't feel queasy. Everything I've ever been able to eat, I can still eat. And I've well and truly tried every food group. So, yeah, you don't need to comment on that anymore. I can eat anything, it doesn't affect me. Anyway, I'm glad the gallbladder's gone because of the fact that I haven't had to change my diet whatsoever. So again, I say I'm very fortunate in that respect because I believe some people just, they have to change their diet. It boils down to being an individual. Oh, that's cool. Two butterflies hovering together. Oh. They were right on top of each other, nearly. Very cool. <laughs> Maybe a good sign. Trying to make a home in my light. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the wrap up. You can go back and check out those videos, the first one and the follow up one. But yeah, it's been uh, probably close to eight months now since since then, or actually no, it's um, November, so it's about 11 months since my gallbladder emergency surgery. So this is close to a year later. I think by this time I would have noticed if there was anything going to go astray. So it's a good thing that it's gone, I'm pleased. That's the final bit I have to say about it. Uh, one thing's for sure, I will never ever get gallstones again because I don't have a gallbladder to produce them. And the only other type of stones you can get are kidney stones which are also extremely painful but touch wood I won't ever experience those hopefully but it's a totally different thing. So that's all short video as promised. So yeah join me for my next video because it looks like I'm going to have to do a few more videos before I get to go away anyway if I disappear you'll know what I'm out doing making more content for you guys so thanks again everyone that sent all their best wishes for the loss of poor little Teddy the vlogging cat who's very very sadly missed I assure you so from the remaining family here the of big eyes the cat and Bobo over there and the two butterflies that keep hovering around I'll say cheers for now and I'll see you in my next video Thanks again for all your support about Teddy as well. It really is appreciated. Okay. Cheers. Stay safe. And I'll speak to you soon. It's definitely worth noting that my loyal Teddy the vlogging cat. That's you. Stayed with me from the moment I woke up at 3am Australia Day. Even following me to the hot bath and stayed nursing myself until I went off to hospital in the ambulance and even since has been watching my recovery by building herself a little cubby <laughs> or den inside the walk-in wardrobe. So thank you Teddy for your loyalty as always. Yeah. Animals sure do know, don't you? No, do she's.